Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean here again from Sean's Rabbit Channel Aquaponic Produce and we're back with another rabbit farming video. I'm here today with my home girl, Josefina. Yeah. Hola, buenos días. Mi nombre es Josefina. Bienvenido a nuestro canal. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about when you go out to purchase your rabbits that you make sure you buy what you want to buy and not what the seller wants to sell you. So stay tuned and we'll be back with more right after the intro. Okay guys, so we're back and we're talking about purchasing rabbits because what I've noticed a lot recently, especially here locally, a lot of farmers or new farmers I should say are expressing that they've gone out to purchase rabbits and the person told them that it was a particular breed or it was a particular lineage and things like that and then later on they're finding out that it wasn't what the person claimed it was and so in essence they would have been tricked into buying something that they ultimately didn't want so first of all when you're going to purchase rabbits you need to know upfront the purpose for which you are buying rabbits with that in mind you're going to purchase a breed that is suitable for your purpose in rabbit farming so if you're a pet producer and you're going to be selling pets then you're going to select breeds that you think are suitable nice colors uh, nice fur, and things like that that are suitable for the pet market if you're going into meat production then you're going to select breeds that you know are ultimately suited for meat production so when you go out there to purchase you know exactly what you are going for and what you are asking for Okay, let me give you an example. Hola, buenos días, son. Quiero comprar un chinchila. Oh, you like to buy a chinchila? Yes. Grab it. Okay, hold on. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice chinchila. No, esta no es chinchila. Yes, chinchila. No, son. Seguro? Yes. You sí. sure? No, no, no es chinchila. Okay. Well, guys. The point we're trying to make is that first and foremost, after you've decided what breed you're interested in buying, you need to be able to identify the breed. So obviously this is not a chinchilla, right? Because chinchillas are gray in color. And this happens to be, uh, in fact, this wasn't even a Fulbright Californian. This is a cross between a New Zealand white and Californian, even though it looks and appears to be a California so you need to first of all be able to identify the breed that you're going to purchase or that you're asking for so that you can't be sold anything other than what you want okay 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 thank you okay okay another thing that I think is very important uh, is and I, that I don't see a lot here especially in the Caribbean is adherence to breed standard now a lot of these breeds no in, not, in fact all breeds have what is called a breed standard meaning a description of what the breed should look like in terms of size weight color shape things like that so a lot of times you see persons portraying rabbits as purebred but when you look at the set breed standard for that particular breed it looks nothing like what they are offering and this I think is something that we need to pay more attention to if we are to improve the quality of rabbits and the industry as a whole in any particular country now i know in the u.s uh, it's a really big deal they have the american rabbit breeders association where they have uh, set rules and regulations and they have descriptions and breed standards and all that for persons to follow 
Now here in the Caribbean, we don't have any organization like that to say. So the best we could do is probably comply with the standards that they have already set, seeing that their industry is a lot more developed than ours at this particular time. So you can go online and you can look up the American Rabbit Breeders Association and you can download pictures and descriptions of breed standards for any particular breed that you are interested in. It's important to note when you're looking at breed standards, or the reason for looking at breed standards, is because persons can be easily fooled if they are not knowledgeable about the particular breeds that they're interested in. For instance, chinchillas are usually gray, but it doesn't mean that every gray rabbit is a chinchilla. Or that New Zealand reds are usually reddish brown in color. But not every brown or reddish brown rabbit is a New Zealand red. Same as a New Zealand black is always black. But not every black rabbit is a New Zealand black. This is why it is important to look at the breed standards because it will go a longer way to helping you understand and know what that particular breed should look like. Okay, now this is something I know a lot of people probably have never paid attention to, but it's something that you need to look at in order not to be hoodwinked, right, by farmers who are just looking to make a quick buck. So guys, think about that for a minute and we'll be back with more in a moment. Okay. Hola, buenos días, John. ¿Te gustaría comprar un conejo de Nueva Zelanda, por favor? Oh, yeah. A New Zealand white rabbit. Yeah, we have a sí. lot. You want to buy sí, one? Sí. Okay, hold on. Okay. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, me gusta. You like it? Yes. All right. Sí, please. Okay, sí. All right. So, ah, uh, here's your, your, your pedigree. Mm -hmm. Okay, excelente. All right, and see you have the tattoo. Okay. All right. ¿Cuánto dinero? Ah, uh, 300. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Nice, nice doing Gracias. business with you. Un okay. Hasta luego. All right. Mm. Okay, guys. So, in that example, you would have seen. Firstly, the buyer knew exactly what she wanted. She asked for that, and she got exactly what she wanted. Now, I would have presented to her a New Zealand white rabbit because that's what she asked for. Right? I would have I, I would have identified the rabbit by the air markings, the tattoo that we would have placed on it so that it couldn't be confused with any other New Zealand white in the entire rabbitry. Also, I would have shown her a pedigree, right, informing her of the lineage and parentage of this particular rabbit. So she knows that it's indeed a purebred New Zealand white because all of its ancestors going back three generations would have been purebred New Zealand whites also. Now it's important to note that someone can fake a pedigree even though a pedigree goes a long way towards ensuring you the buyer that you're getting exactly what you're being offered. Someone can fake a pedigree so I recommend that you deal with persons who have some sort of integrity okay so before like anything else before you go to purchase you can consult other persons ask them who they would have purchased from before who they trust who they would have had good experiences with and you try your best to utilize these same sources right there are a number of persons in the country who i know for a fact have purebred rabbits and can back it up however there are also a lot of persons who are claiming that they have purebred rabbits with nothing to show that is actually what they are claiming it to be. First of all, decide what breed you want to acquire for your particular purpose. Second, be able to identify the breed. Go to persons who have a good reputation or who you trust. And as far as possible, you can also ask for a pedigree to support what they are selling. Okay? These are just some things to think about, so stay tuned. We'll be back with more in a while. Okay, guys. So, that's it for today. 
I hope that you guys found this information useful. Did you find this information useful? See, information for what you make your car. Right. So, so you see, when you go out there now with the right information, you can't be tricked, you can't be fooled. You're gonna get exactly what you're asking for, hopefully. So, if it's your first time here with us, definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell to turn on notifications so you'll know whenever we release new content. All right? We hope you guys enjoyed this video on behalf of myself and my business partner, Sean McLean, on behalf of my home girl, Josefina. And, um, hasta luego, hasta el próximo programa. Right, so we look forward to seeing you guys again next Monday when we release another brand new rabbit farming video for you guys. So until then, peace. Okay. All right.